are richly blessed in the Lord. And that is a great testimony. My name is Patrick Tolani. I'm a pastor with Christ Love Assembly, a parish of the redeemed Christian Church of God. I'm delighted to bring you today's reflections from the Open Heavens Daily Devotional written by Pastor E. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Our topic for today is Farming Uplifts. And the Bible passage is taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 41. We're reading from verse 37 to 44. So the advice was good in the eyes of Pharaoh and in the eyes of all his servants. And Pharaoh said to his heart, Can we find such a one as this, a man in whom is the Spirit of God? Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, Inasmuch as God has shown you all this, there's no one as discerning as and as wise as you. You shall be over my house, and all my people shall be ruled according to your word. Only in regard to the throne will I be greater than you. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, See, I've set you over all the land of Egypt. Then Pharaoh took his signet ring off his hand and put it on Joseph's hand. And he clothed him in garments of fine linen and put a gold chain around his neck. And he had him ride in the second chariot which he had. And they cried out before him, Bow the knee. So he set him over all the land of Egypt. Pharaoh also said to Joseph, I am Pharaoh, and without your consent, no man may lift his hand or foot in all the land of Egypt. Our memory verse, Genesis 26, 13. The man began to prosper and continued prospering until he became very prosperous. And that's talking about Isaac. Pastor Adeboe's teaching today reminds us of the scripture in the book of Job 22, 29 that says, when men are cast down, then you will say there is lifting up. Very often we see in the scripture that when God is judging his enemies, it's at the same time blessing his people. Another pertinent scripture says, Behold therefore the goodness and severity of God. That's Romans 11, 22. Nothing compares to following the will and plan of God in every situation. Isaac and Joseph, whose lives we have seen as examples in today's teaching, were in covenant with Jehovah. As we are today in covenant with Jesus Christ. But Isaac humbled himself to hear God and obeyed him by remaining in the land of the Philistines, avoiding going down to Egypt despite the fact that it made logical sense to go to Egypt at that time. Similarly, Joseph passed through difficulties. He was sold by his brothers. He was tempted, maltreated, and maligned. In all of these, however, he stayed faithful to God until God's word, having tried him, found him faithful, and came to the king of Egypt, who then sent for him and sent him into God's destiny for his life. So, there are two major things we can see in these lives which made them have glorious experiences in the midst of famine. The first was that they knew they were in covenant with Jehovah. So let's be admonished to remain mindful of the covenant. Secondly, they honored God with their obedience to him and stayed away from stains of sin. May we find grace from God to do so too. 
as we live every day of our life, so that when men are cast down, we shall say, there is lifting up. Our prayer point, Father, as you used famine to raise Joseph from being a nobody to somebody, use the present famine to move me from being nobody to somebody in the name of Jesus. Amen.